Another episode, man. Another episode. It's the actors take four. Take four. What up? What up? We What's back, up, man? How we you back. doing, Slap? I'm feeling good. How, how you feeling, good, man? I'm yeah, good, man. I'm, I'm good, good, man. I'm out here, man. Yeah, it's good to um, see you, man. You good know? to see you as well, brother. Yeah, you know. You know what I mean, uh, <laughs> shoot, we got we got some things to talk about. This we do. Week. We do. Um, one thing I'm gonna say is, uh, <clears throat> I feel like uh, we talked about being unsung last. Yes, week. we did. Um, on last week's show. Um, I feel like I'm unsung. I feel like I feel like locally, I agree. I agree. I'm unsung. You know what I'm saying? But but I do feel like I got time to sung myself. Uh-huh. You know what All I'm right. saying? Um <laughs> I, I also feel like you unsung. Yeah. You know what I, I'm I feel like that too. So so we are gonna talk about uh why we feel like our acting careers are not as far as they should be. Um and, and let's be open and transparent in the hopes that Somebody starting out in their twenties, when when we was, mm-hmm. or, or even younger, um, cannot make some of the mistakes that we've made yeah. you know, with our careers. Um, and then, as normal, we got a top five list. Yeah, um, we'll do that. We gonna give y'all the top five things we feel are attributes great actors should have. Oof. All right. Um, Oof. And, and then, lastly, we gonna give y'all uh, five people we want to work with. Ah, that's a good day. one. You know what I'm saying? That's a good one. Um, Slap got somewhere to be. You know, he got Grammy night coming up and all that. So he getting, <laughs> he getting fitted for suits and tucks. And I heard he getting his hair cut now, even though it ain't till June 10th. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just did a virtual fitting, and that shit didn't go as planned. So I got, I got to do another <laughs> so you gotta one. You got to do a real job. I got to do another one. No, I got, because the, the place in New York. Yeah. So I'm not driving to New York. I just got to get somebody to help but me with the But you in the gym fitting. too, man. So yeah, and that's another might, thing. That's another be. thing. I told him, like, man, I don't know how many pounds I'm going to be down by June 10th. So yeah, that's we'll a tough see. One. Yeah. That's a tough Fuck. one. So where you want to go first? Let's do um the unsung joint. Well, why, 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 yeah, why, yeah, I like that. All right, uh, you want me to start? Or you want to start? Uh, I can start. Why, I can why start. you feel like you want something, man? Why you ain't? Oh, uh, it's several reasons though, Talk and shit. some of it is my fault, and then some of them I don't feel like it's my fault. But it's mainly me. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, once I got to a certain point in my acting career, I just got complacent. Mm. You know, um, I don't think I took it as serious as I should have. Mm. Because of once you, it's like it's like how certain um, Hollywood actors get sometimes. Like once you get to a certain point, you know, right. you don't feel like you got to go mm-hmm. as as hard as you you should because I got a name, people a know me. Backs, you know what I'm saying? People and, looking for you. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I think I just got lazy um, with just having some type of name out there mm-hmm. and people knowing you, and I ain't doing no audition and stuff like that. Mm. I didn't, I don't think. Self-sabotage. Yeah, I self-sabotaged my career um, because I didn't go as hard as I should have went, Pause. Mm-hmm. Um, with my acting career. And other reasons is because I was taking a lot of, I was just taking a lot of dumb um, acts and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I was just, I was saying yes to a lot of stuff that I, sh- I shouldn't have. Look back and you yeah, like, yeah, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but, I felt I lost my focus, and I lost my focus because of just a little bit of popularity. Mm. You know what I mean? So it, I feel like it wasn't my it wasn't my time for me to even excel in acting because if I can't give you, uh, if I can't go uh, get you a hundred percent, just with people in Philadelphia knowing me. Mm. What what would I give you if the world. if the world knew me? You know, you know what I'm saying? No, you make sense, man. And and I think um I think that's that's very brave of you to put out there because two things you mentioned. The one is you know feeling they self. Yeah. This day and age with social media, everybody feeling they self. Everybody somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They go, you don't don't go viral and get some followers that's, and whatever might happen. They it's think, over. They think everything's supposed to be handed to yeah. them. Yeah. Um, and 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 with you, you ain't even talking about going viral. You're right. talking about auditioning, yeah. <clears throat> getting a part, yeah. being in play after play, film after film, whatever it might be, and being like, I'm slack. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like feeling like you arrived and you ain't really nobody. You ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't so nobody. That's that's a gem. That's something that's something for y'all to for y'all to listen to, yeah, man. Sure. Like and, and you hear big actors and actresses say it all the time where they like, yo, I had to audition for this part. Yep. Like you might have seen your favorite person in film after film after film, 
And then they still going to tell you like, yo, I had to audition for this part. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So don't lose sight of mm -hmm. the fight, mm -hmm. right? And, and also have your own target. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and, and that's where I'll talk about me. And I, I personally, bro, I, I, I still think to this day, you one of the most talented actors. I think you can do, and, and, and that's local, obviously. <laughs> right, right. Like, no, no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, yeah for local. sure. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, but locally, I always have respect for you. I've seen you in a lot of stuff. Um, and um, you can do comedy. You can do drama. You know what I mean? You you remember your lines hella fast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you know what the role you know takes. And and I would definitely say you unsung. I would yeah, definitely sure. say that that you can hold your own with with you know most of the shit that's out now. Right. right. At, at the least, you know what I mean. So that's why I say you know you should be out there more. Um, and I definitely feel the same way about myself. And um, I think <clears throat> two things with me. I think that um, I took a long hiatus from acting yeah you did um you and, took and a long time off i, yo. I did and, and I, <laughs> I wasn't not busy right i wasn't you know not doing anything i was just building another brand i started my new philly right um true and true. um and i wanted to teach folks um and i always had it in mind to get to the point i ain't gonna say always but once people weren't kind of you know casting me or or showing me the favor i thought i deserved I was like, fuck it, I'm going to learn how to do all this myself and I'm going to do mm. it myself. So part of my hiatus was that too. It was, you know, um, I'm not going to go to your casting and, you know, feel like, and, and no disrespect to anybody, but feel like I, I was better. Yeah. I should have got the role. Um, and, and you know, waste my time is what I, is what I felt like. Um, and I think now I can... I can say what I'm saying now and it not come off cocky mm. because of the projects that I have done. Right. Um, did our logo just go off? We've been having logo trouble. Yeah. Um, but we going, we going to make sure that we going to get that job back. It is working. We going to put this back. We <laughs> but um, in 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 finishing my <clears throat> point, I think that the projects, the the work that I've been doing now, yeah, it's something up with the with the joint again. I can't, I really can't believe this. I apologize. That's crazy. Bro. It's I, I spent time trying to fix it and yeah. it's it's back off. Um, turn TV off, turn it back on. Let me make my point though. Mm. I have projects now, right? right? I, I have Work Bay. I have Work Bay Two coming shortly. I have um, Money Lovers. I have Bay vs Bay. I have Single Dumb. Um, some of these projects hang around on the walls right now. I think that now, because people talk, mm -hmm. I think now I can really say, hey, I was away studying, figuring out how to do this myself because I knew I was doper than the opportunities I was being handed. Yeah, I think I can say that now because my work speaks for itself, right? Um, none of my shit is bullshit. I don't have the budgets that people is dealing with. We really doing it on our own, getting it out the mud. But I think one of the reasons I'm not higher up is because of that hiatus mm. you know um out of sight out of mind yeah. people forgot about me yep. people people forgot i acted you know what i'm saying yep. like it, it, it it's been it's been a while you know i'm back i'm back now yeah i'm back cooking with, now with a vengeance he but, back with um, a vengeance <laughs> but I, I i was i wasn't hibernating y'all I wasn't just sleep. I was, I was I was building. You was doing something else. I was doing something else. So, you know what I mean? But related to this. Facts. I was I was prac planning for a day like today, man. Yeah. Um what what other reasons would you say, man? Um, like, you know what? Let's play this game. We know each other well. You tell me a reason why you feel like I'm unsung, and then I'll give you one. Um, all right. I'ma say I I honestly feel like you just ain't you haven't been in that right room yet. Because mm. I feel like, you know, you got all the, all the tools, like especially with the knowledge of filmmaking and stuff like that. When I be around y'all and I be hearing you like just use different words, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? But I know. But you I, see my work enough see, to know exactly, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I honestly feel like I don't think that right person saw you yet. You know what I mean? Um, you, you, you got the business thing down. And even outside of business, you well aware of, you know, how to work the room as far as with the technology and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then of course, like with with acting, um, 
you're extremely talented with with acting. I I, I that, just bro. feel like you know you just ain't got. I don't think you got in that room yet, and I I feel like you know, and 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 due time is going to happen, mm -hmm. but that's my honest opinion on you know why I feel like you know you're you're um unsung. that unsung actor. I, I, and I appreciate it coming from you. I, I respect your judgment as an actor. Um, I, I'll tell you myself that um, I don't think I'm that good of an actor. Mm. I, I, I think that I'm good enough, um, you know, to pull off what I've been pulling off. Um, I think that I'm a lot more comfortable with comedy than I am with uh, drama roles. I, I really um, am seeking the opportunity, whether it be in something that I write or something that, you know, someone else does that I can be a part of, I'm really seeking the opportunity to be a character very far from who I am. Mm. Um, yes. That's, yes. Um, and even when we did it in the comedy in Bay vs. Bay and I, and I played, you know, whether it was the white guy, oh, Angelo yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever, yeah. I feel comfortable. Don't, don't I feel that. at home there. And I feel like people receive those things well. And I, and I feel like I'm good at just changing into another person. Got you. Right? And I haven't had that opportunity. I haven't given myself that opportunity. Like, I was, I played Quentin and worked bad. It was very close to who I am. I played Lion and, and Money Lovers, and that was close-ish to who mm -hmm. I am. You know, it was a little darker character, but, you know, it was still close to who I am. So I'm, I'm yearning for the opportunity to to do something Do something out there. That. Yeah. Um, as far as what I see from you, bro, um, it's, it's a similar thing to what you said about yourself. But I think it's because of your job. Yeah. Yo, I said to my mom this year, I said, yo, I'm I, I'm honestly thinking about quitting that shit. Well, retiring. Uh, You've been yeah, there Well, yeah, yeah, retire. Yeah, yeah, I would have to retire. I definitely ain't going to quit. <laughs> yeah, you definitely going to quit. I got quit. 20 years in that bitch. <laughs> you need that pension plan. <laughs> Better get yo, that good pension. <laughs> I swear to God, like two months ago, I had that conversation with my mom. Yeah. And I got a friend who quit his job and... He he's been doing real, and everybody's story is different. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. going to work. Yeah. It's not going to work the same for everybody. But that's so crazy that you said that because I felt like I was like, "Yo, it's, I'm I'll be forty. Yeah. Like you know, it's like now or never. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't feel like I'm able to give it, bro, a hundred percent. I want to wake up and do acting. And I was going into forty <clears throat> when you know the pandemic hit. I was thirty eight. I'll be forty two this year. Um, I was going in with that same so 40 do something to you. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, Lord willing, you know, my grandmother's 82. Mm. So I'm like, Lord Bless willing, her. I can yes. live to be uh give me another 41 years and yeah. I don't get it right. Oh, that's on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So For sure. My mindset was the same thing, but me just knowing you, it's not a bad thing that you did. You, you worked the same company yeah. for 20 years, you got a pension lined up, you got retirement lined up. You could really start a new life. Yeah. And the good thing about acting is it's always a role no matter how old you are. Right. Right? That's, That's the so great true. thing. That's so like you true. Can't, you can't out, you know what I mean? Like, look at all of our favorite people yeah. from when we was young. Uh -huh. You know, those that are still alive, mm -hmm. you know, blessed to be um, still here. They still working. Yep, still you know working. What I'm saying? And and you just you just grow. You used yep. to be this child. Now you're the granddad. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But that's the beautiful thing. And I personally feel like when that time does, you know, come and you do retire, me as a friend, I'm gonna be on your ass. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I look up and you only in my shit, I'm just gonna give you a spanking. Yeah, no, like, you're right you, though. What are you doing, bro? You're right. Like it's it's turn up time. Yeah. It's second lifetime. And and you know what's crazy? Shout out to my guy Al, man. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a send Al this clip, man. He, I was my barber mm. for 20 years, probably plus. I think I started, yeah, because Al moved to Atlanta probably right after or during the pandemic. So Al, Al used to be down here when we was my new Philly. He would always be like, yo, I'm, I'm trying to act. I'm trying to act. You know, he, because he, he, my barber, we yeah. talking about what I got going on and all that. So when I had small little opportunities, you know, before now when I was doing the films, I gave him a little couple opportunities or whatever. And I'm be honest, Al never like struck me as like, oh, he about to be the next, you know what I'm saying? Right. And he wasn't really taking it that serious either, right? But he kept saying it. He kept all the time, like, yo, yeah, I really want to get into it. I want to get into acting. Mm. So finally, I think his wife got an opportunity in Atlanta to go down there and, um, you know, was making enough money to, to, you know, move the family down there and all of that. 
So he was like, yo, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to quit cutting and I'm going to start acting. Mm. And, and and my wife going to manage me. And they they that type of team, bro. His yeah. wife go hard for him. That's what's up. Yo, Al been in something like, I think, almost 100 different joints now. Like, for real? ton of extra work. Um, I think he's a stand-in. I don't know if I could say it now, but he's a stand-in for a, a big film that's coming out. Okay. Um, and, and he just rocking and rolling, man. And, yeah. and Al older than me, way older than me. You mm. know what I mean? I think, I, I didn't put his age out, but Al old. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so, and, and I just say that to say, like, for, for you and you being my guy, man, like, when that time does come and you and you take that pension and you get out of there, man, go hard, man, because yeah. you got the talent, you yeah. got the skill, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? We got we got, we got to do what we got to do. Facts. Um, Unsung, man. Why else might, might one of us be unsung, man? Give us one more quick reason. We move um, on. What have we done against our, ourselves, man, that if we could go back, we would change? Um, uh, Damn. See, I was... Damn. I'm trying to think. I got mine. Acting class. And I took acting classes, though. I've, I've only taken acting class like twice. No, I took I took a bunch of acting classes. And, and that's one thing that even still now I, I, I vow to do. I vow to get my ass signed up in some acting classes. Yeah, I definitely um, took acting classes. And just be around it. Be around that that environment of, yeah. of creatives. You know what I'm saying? Um, I need acting classes. I know. Yeah, my, I think, and I kind of said this earlier, but my, my ego got, my ego played a part of it, though. Mm. Uh, I remember my first acting, my first lead role, um, I was working with Rick Watson, and I I think I sold 65 tickets mm. in like a hundred and- better know uh, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. They coming to see yo. me. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Yo, I'm trying to tell you. So when it was curtain call, you know, all my folks stood up and was clapping, and I, I kind of let that went to my head, mm. and- um, coming to rehearsal, and I heard this about Jamie Foxx, mm. and I kind of lost touch with this. They said when Jamie Foxx come into auditions, niggas leave <laughs> because they already know like yeah. he kill he gonna it's, kill it's that joint rap. like it's, it's a rap, and that's that's how I was when I first started out. <laughs> he was like yo, I, I, man, I'm you. This was before I start, you know, before eating edibles and shit like that. My memory ain't, ain't as good as it used to be when I was twenty. <laughs> I walked in that bitch. I ain't need I ain't need no script. <laughs> all right, all right, had the shit. They was like, oh, you remember nigga, let's go. Say action so I can go. <laughs> and niggas were looking like, damn, he remembered all his lines. Like, yeah, so my, my ego got in the way of my work ethic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So but no, that's a good, that's a good gem. Yeah. That's a well, good gem, now. man. Like, I got I'm getting um, back to that. All right, so we beat ourselves up a little bit. Let's run through this one because, uh, again, I told y'all Slap got to get two haircuts before June 10th <laughs> um, today. Uh, oh, shit. The, the five attributes that make an actor great. Um, and um, Let's go back uh, and forth. We're going we to go back and forth. Uh, um, I'll start it off because I think... We might got, we might got some of the same ones. I'm Let's sure see. we do. You Let's mentioned see. Jamie. I'm going I'm to I'm put... And it's crazy. We talked about Living Color last week. I'm going to put... I'm going to say Jim Carrey. I'm going to say Jim Carrey and Jamie Foxx are, are, are probably one and two of my favorite actors. And the reason being is mm. they are... And I'm, I'm going to put Will Smith on that too because he he definitely does what I'm about to say as well. Um, and I know I say it people, we talking attributes, but being able to depart from your inhibitions mm. is the, the, the attribute that I'm giving. And what that means is most of us... If it's just us, mm -hmm. we could be the craziest person, the craziest character. We could dance, we could cuss, we could yell, we could sing, we could do all these things. But when the camera come out, we can't do it exactly the same. Mm. We can't do it as crazy as we was when it was just us. Mm. But those three people that I just named, especially Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey's the best at it. Yeah, they are able to do things on camera that's just outside of normal. Like they right. all got to be a little bit crazy. Yeah. So depart from your inhibitions is 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 my attribute. What you got? Um, and I think you just used a bigger word <laughs> for what for what you was about to say. Because I put down choices. Okay, speak on it. So I feel like choices, like you know, when you're when you're doing auditions and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and even even when you're acting, if you're on set or, or you're on film, just like you were talking about, like when you're when you're in that character, there are certain there are certain um, parts in movies 
that wasn't even in the script. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? It's certain so iconic you, you, movies. You talking like being able to improv? Not even just, not even, not even just the improv, but you know, you made you made a choice to do something, to and, commit to that yeah, role, to, to commit and, to and bring that you know character what I mean? to like, life. You had a cigarette in your mouth. And maybe you did the cigarette a different way than what it was in the script, mm -hmm. but the way you did chose it. to do yeah. it, people are like you, yo, you saw how he did that with that cigarette, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? So it's um, I think what choices make, especially those type of actors with uh, comedians and mm -hmm. um, like like you said, Jamie Foxx, mm -hmm. like Jamie Foxx up there on my list. But Eddie Murphy is my favorite uh, actor. He's mm -hmm. my favorite actor because of the versatility um, yeah. doing the comedy. And, you know, he could switch over and do drama and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I feel like great actors make great choices. So I, I, I would say, if I, if I could say that in another way for people to understand, I would say the ability to add texture to a character, mm -hmm. right, that might not be on the paper, mm -hmm. right? Um, so that would be the number two. The, the number three that I'm going to give y'all, and this is supposed to be an easy one, but it's not, your energy. Uh, uh. Your energy on set, who who, <clears throat> and how people perceive you to be when you leave That's the room. One. That's right? a good one. Um, that is, it's more on the business side and how you're going to get booked or not, but your energy and your, you know, not being an asshole, right? Yes. Not having, you know, personal bravado, right? Let your, let your performance speak. Shout out to Monique. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... <laughs> Just just the energy that you bring to the set should go up a notch when you walk in the room. Yeah. Would be would be number three. Because who the hell wanna who who wanna work with somebody that don't got good energy? I hate that. Like you you bring the morale down in the group. Yeah. And I love when I when I'm in a room and I see a bunch of people that I know. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm like, yeah, oh, we about to up. we about to kill it. We about to have a good time. And not you just know them, but you know their energy. Yeah, I know, I know their energy. Right, exactly. right. All right. My next one is discipline. Okay. Gotta be disciplined because um, you have to, outside of um, you know just showing up, like you, you gotta know your lines. You you got you gotta be prepared. A lot of people bring like their outside stuff on camera, mm -hmm. and you you can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you your real name is John. Your character name is Alex. You, whatever John going through, <laughs> yeah. Alex ain't. You ain't supposed to be showing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be disciplined. Hundred percent. Um, while you're on set, on stage, because that takes you a long way. The word of mouth is is everything for for actors, especially people that's just starting out. Like we need to know if I ask you to come with a number two pencil, nigga, you better come with a number two pencil. I need you to be, I, I just want to see how disciplined you are. Mm -hmm. you know, it could be the weirdest thing. Like when Diddy made them niggas walk the fucking, go get them. It was all about discipline. That's all, that's all it was. <laughs> it was all that's, about that's discipline. That's all it was. I just wanted to see how disciplined you would have, because if, if I can't trust you to do that, how, how I know you're going to be able to do a, a 20 city tour? You know what I'm saying? Like right. how, how, how I know you're, you're going to be able to, Pull something like that off. So yeah, discipline. I think if you don't got no discipline, I don't. I don't think you're gonna survive as an actor. Right. And and my mind, which will round out and be fifth, is it really jumps off the back of yours. Uh, study. Study. Oof. Because you know, I, I can't tell you as a, as a writer, director, and and you know how many films I've done now, whether they were mine or or sets I've been on. People don't study. People hmm. don't study and. And I'm going to give you all a tip on how to study, right? Do not be the actor who just highlights their lines and knows <laughs> their lines. I see a lot of niggas do that. You have to know the story. You have to read the script in its entirety multiple times. Because when you watch a movie, you see something the second or third time yeah. that you ain't see the first time. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, right? Now, imagine if you were in the film and you knew those tells or those takes or those, you know what I'm saying? You have to learn the movie so that you understand what state and frame of mind your character is in mm -hmm. at the time when they deliver their lines, yep. right? So you can't just, oh, there go John right there. Let me highlight that. Yeah, Like, that's not how you, you do it. You got to study and then you got to ingest those lines. And I always tell my actors, you know your lines when you can sing them, mm. right? You can say them in a different, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to say like dialect, yeah, a different uh -huh. language. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, not language, but you know, right. a, a accent yeah, is what I'm trying to accent, say. Yeah. Um, 
you know, move those lines around a little bit. You know what I mean? Even rehearse them with somebody like that. Yeah. You know, because what that's going to do is that's going to embed them in your mind. And now you know the words. It's second nature to you. You know the words. So now you all emotion. Yeah. That's what makes a great actor in a great scene. They're not thinking about their lines. Nope. We can see you thinking about your lines. Yeah, yo, and that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. When a nigga go like this, he looking for his we lines. We can see you. That shit is not up there, yo. Your lines is <laughs> it's not, not up, up there, there, yo. Please, <laughs> like he said, read the script because you know something? One line, one joke that I had in Work Bay that hit the hardest, and it was uh, it was a quick, quick three-line three thing, um, is at the end. Where you, where uh, where the boy um, he came to propose to her. Yeah. And to me, this is just my opinion. Uh -huh. I felt like that joke hit was so hard, and I was like, you know, this nigga about to propose, right? <laughs> and, but at the uh, at the at premiere, the premiere was it, it hit up. so yeah. hard, and it's because I knew I knew what was going on. Uh -huh. Not that I knew my line, yeah. but I knew. What was going? Yeah. What, what was going on? What what I was seeing, mm -hmm. and I knew how to deliver that part. So if I just knew, if I just knew to say, you know, this nigga about to propose, and I would have just said it like yeah, that, just a, a funny way, or uh, not a funny way, it wouldn't have worked though. Off way, yeah. So you you're giving people a, a a extra layer of a tip, yeah. Um, and I gotta I gotta say this about that. Learn. Filmmaking at least a little bit. Yeah. If you're gonna be an actor. <laughs> learn lighting, learn sound, learn storytelling. I'm not telling you to master it. Yeah. But what you're talking about right now is higher level yeah, thinking. For sure. Because you have to remember people are going to watch this. Mm -hmm. Right? At the end of the the it's show business. Yeah. So a part of the show is the no, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I have to know how people should receive this yes. line yes right when they're watching it on their couch yep. or in the theater right if you know that mm -hmm. then now you can say i want this to hit yeah. in the theater a yeah, certain yeah, yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. i want to bring them into this character i want right. to bring them into this moment so i'm going to deliver it like this yeah versus you just knowing what's on the paper <sighs> If you just know what's on the paper and you just deadpan or you just say it a way that it don't really fit right it's there. It's meaningless. It's meaningless. Yeah, it's meaningless. It don't jump off. Yeah. But when people could connect it and they can they can feel what you what? felt in that moment, mm. it's going to hit. It's going to What? And that's what we all do it for, yeah, right? exactly. We all do it so that we can be present and we can get... Nowadays, it's the comments, right? Yeah. It's the it's the yo, you did your thing on that. Yo, I remember this moment. Yo, this was funny as hell. That's that's oh, that's, that's the why best. We do that's it. the best right there. That's why we do that's it. That's the best right there. So yeah. yeah, man, that's that that's a good one, man. Yeah. That's a good that's one. That's the like, best right there. Know know how to how to deliver something. Yeah, because you thinking about it. Yeah, think oh. about it. Yeah. Lastly, man, Oof. we gonna give we gonna give a uh, we'll do a top six to make it. All right, we can do that. We'll do a top six before we get out of here. Is it is now? Are we doing this? Can we do locals too? And yeah, um, yeah, oh, whoever right, you right. want, whoever right. you want, we're going to tell y'all. Slap's gonna give three people he want to work with. I'm gonna give you three people I want to work with, and and, and why? Mm. So let's let's force at least one local person. In. All right, all right. This my 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 local person. And he really ain't local because he been in he been on TV series, but Brian Wilson. Okay. Brian okay. Wilson. I just I went to go see Radio Golf last night too. How was uh, it? Oh, it was dope. It was dope. I don't know how the fuck Damien remember all them goddamn lines. <laughs> yo, yo, Damien and the lead, the dude, the lead was literally on the stage for two hours unless until the damn um intermission. Yeah. Yo, I mean, is, but, is it that long? That's two like two thirty eight. Sheesh. It's like two. <laughs> It's like go to the bathroom third. and get something to eat first. <laughs> I'm it's coming. Like Shout out to third. Cash, man. Oh, yeah. I got to text Cash, too, because I thought he was going to be there, but he wasn't. But Brian Wilson, man, um, I just look up to him, man, because the way – it's just something about how he changes into every – when you look at certain people and they're not the same, like I, I'm, I've, I have never been a fan of Terrence Howard. I, I, I feel, though – I feel as though he is talented, mm. but I just hear the main, main. And, <laughs> you think and, he's and, the and, same and, character and in everything. Every, 
Brian Wilson, at all. he is. He could be a cop. He could be a judge. He could be a nurse. And you don't look at him from the guy from the wire. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't mm. look at him from he played in uh in radio golf and mm. all the other things that he he has done. Um, he's just a profound actor, man. And I sw- and then another reason why I want to work with him because I feel like he would make me better on stage. Mm. He would make me better on stage. So that's that's my local person. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm shoot. I'm gonna shoot straight for the stars. Um, I'm gonna shoot straight for the stars. I would love to work with Will Smith. Mm. Oh, I didn't think he was gonna say Will Smith. I would. I would love to work with Will Smith. Um, I don't wanna fuck. Who you thought I was gonna say? I ain't think Will. Smith. I don't fuck with Will Smith. You <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> so, so the list is tight because I can't get Ooh. five right. But I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about if I if I had to choose between. Will Smith get your five. and Jamie Foxx. Get your five. five. Who? What? What'd you just say? I'm 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 talking Will Smith and Jamie Foxx. Oh my god! And, Come on, and man. Be, because we was Come going on. to do three. Come on, man. I, I had to go Will over Jamie. Do your five, bro. I'm gonna do my five. Dude. Do your five. I'm gonna do my I'm five. Gonna, we gonna we gonna we still got, get we you got out a little time. time. Yeah, yeah. But do your five. All right. So I'm gonna tell you why I go Will over Jamie if I was forced to. But Jamie's still on my list. <laughs> I, I hear you saying you don't mess with Will. No, but how you... I, all, right, just, I, all right, I just want to hear this. You picking Will Smith over Jamie Foxx? If I absolutely had to. If you absolutely had if to? I absolutely had to, bro. It's, it, See, I don't it, know when you be trolling. I'm not trolling. Or, I'm not trolling. And and here's the thing. I can't tell you which one of those guys are, are better actors. I, I can't pick. What? what you mean you can't I, pick? I'm telling you, I can't pick. If 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 you was about to watch a movie and you only had two movies to watch, are you gonna watch Ray or Ali? See, it's a, that's an easy one because I seen Here we Ali. Go. I never seen Ray. What? I never. You seen never Ray. seen Ray Not in its entirety. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do gotta. I do gotta watch Ray. It's, I'm gonna make it my homework. I'm sorry, slap. Um, but that furthers my point. Did y'all hear this shit? What? <laughs> Yo, you never saw Ray? Oh my God. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's blasphemy, um, dog. But part of it is the local tie, right? Yeah, yeah. Another part of it is Will's tenacity in his prime and his work ethic. Mm-hmm. I pride myself on being that type of a person. Like, period. But I'm nowhere near the stories I've heard, mm. whether it be his book and other people that I know that have been around him, I'm nowhere near this guy's work ethic, mm. right? And I just want to see it in person. Like, we talked about energy, <clears throat> right? If I had to choose an energy to be in and around, I would pick Will before I would pick Jamie. But <sighs> since you gave me five... Jamie's right after Will. <laughs> Boy, I hope they come for you in these fucking comments. <laughs> what? All right, all right. So how many you name? How you I name? just gave two just now. All right, you so gave one, so you owe me at least one or two. I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you Jared Leto. Okay. Um, the way Jared Leto commands everything he he does and plays. Oh, I just I I wish one doc could be as great as him. Um, who my next? The next one is he ain't unsung, but he he plays. We ain't talking unsung. I know, but I'm, yeah. I, but he's not somebody people would talk about. Okay, you seen you watch Godfather Harlem, right? Jesus Christ, I've seen an episode or two. I'm not into. Damn, it. what I is can't. the? I can't remember this dude's name, but he plays um Clayton Powell. I forgot his name. We gotta look his name. I gotta look yeah, his look name. Him, up. Look him up so that you I gotta get, look his name up so that you can get your unsung. Yeah, because um. Um, this dude is amazing. Uh, so I'm going to give you a... See, I, I can't since believe Since it's five, I got I to gotta say him, too. I, I, I got to say him, Who? too. Who? Who? Because um, you, you don't already piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to say his name. Giancarlo S. This, this nigga right here. That nigga right there. Okay. Yeah, uh, what's yeah, his? He's been alive. How, how we say his name though? Esposito. Yeah, Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah, he's 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 been he's been around. 
He's he's been in a lot of things. That dude is a beast. He is. He's a beast. He's definitely a beast. He's a beast. All right, that's my um, that's three. I got three. I'm gonna go with a lady. Who I was gonna go with a lady too. Go with a lady too. I was gonna go with a lady too, and she's gonna um, be white though. That's cool. You yeah. do you do your little white lady. <laughs> um, Angela Bassett. Who? That's a good one. That's I just a feel good one. like. That's a good one. I just feel like Angela Bassett <sighs> commands the best out of you. Yeah. I want to be, I want to feel what it feels like to be so pushed, right? And and in that world, I mean, you could have, I could have said Samuel L. Jackson. I could have said Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could even say Tyler Perry in that regard, right? Um, we've heard the stories about how Tyler be doing one takes and you better be on your shit and all of that. I yearn for being in a room where the respect of the peers in the room, and, and let me take the word peer back. Ain't no way no damn Angela Bassett is ever my peer. Right, right, right. Um, but the respect <laughs> that's demanded oh, of the room that you're, you've worked hard enough to get yourself into. Mm. Hopefully there's a time in my career where I've worked <clears throat> hard enough to get in a room with Angela Bassett whew. and I have to act in front of her. I don't even know. I whew, that'd be tough because she's beautiful. It's it's not even about I want to work with her because she's Angela Bassett. I want to feel what it's like mm, that to energy. be pushed by that sort of greatness. Yeah. Like that, that's the type of thing that drives yeah. me. Yeah. Like I want to know yeah. if this person in the room. Mm. And you don't perform, you you right, ask right, right, in front right. of Angela oh, Bass. And that's how I felt about that's how I felt about Brian Wilson. Like I feel like, and I I just feel like I would get that extra push because he you know look at me as like maybe like a nephew or something. Mm -hmm. So he would push me, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So yeah, I get that. Oh, uh, that's yeah. Angela Bassett was a good one. I wasn't thinking you was gonna say that because you've been saying some crazy shit. <laughs> Before we even started this joke, Will Smith. It's no way Will Smith is crazy shit. No, but it's it's crazy shit if you picking Will Smith over Jamie Foxx though. It's not though. Jamie can sing. He can play every not, instrument. So I'm, I'm, just I'm, on, I'm on the acting side. Yeah, but like, that, I'm not gonna lie to you. When we talking about talented human beings, <laughs> oh, that's Jamie over Will all day. But I'm talking about Act, acting. I'm talking about the the person who Will Smith is. I wish he wouldn't have did bait and uh, booty call because I think that's. What <laughs> <laughs> I, think that, I think that shit fucked that's up with my argument. <laughs> that's it. I ain't turning on no more. <gasps> um, no, but I'm I'm just telling you. You know, we wasting time on it. But I'm just telling oh, you the fuck. person who Will Smith is and that tenacity, that energy. No, I agree with you. That though. drive that he had, just being Mister Box Office yeah. for so many years. True. I'd love to feel what that feel like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm I, I mean I understand what you're saying. I, I'm just I'm not picking Will over uh, Jamie. That's Amy, fine. That's yeah, why you gotta yeah, listen. Yeah. I gotta listen, bro. You owe me uh, none. Oh, you too. You do. Don Cheadle. Mm, and Eddie Murphy. One. I said that though, that's Don Cheeto and Eddie Murphy. Because that nigga Don Cheeto is crazy. Don Cheeto can do anything. <laughs> like I, those ones he are crazy. can play. And, well, I see him in Ocean's Eleven, and he got like a British accent. And he was in Hotel Rwanda. Like Don Cheeto, I don't think he get the the praise he he should be he's, getting. He's though. nasty. He is actor. crazy. He's a man. crazy actor. Oh my god, man! And Eddie Murphy, of course. And I feel like. My personality resembles Eddie Murphy, yeah, so you can't, um, you can't argue with Eddie. No, That's you just, can't. That I, I want to steal that one. Yeah, I, my, my <laughs> I Eddie is steal my. That Ed, one. I wish Eddie, I could do a movie with him, man. Yeah, Eddie is. That's a dream. That's he 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 on my list too a yeah. little bit by default. He a notable. He yeah, a notable. All right, my notable is Meryl Street. So go ahead, you get you. Good one. So you put that's a notable a on there because how many um, you got left? I think I got two left. Right, I said Will Jamie. And Angela. Right. So you got two in the middle. Um, so this is it's tough because I got one that I want to say, but uh, he just my favorite actor. Like. Of all time? Like, yeah. Like probably, but I'm not going to say him that I want to work with him. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Because it's I'll say him at the end. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but local though. Um it's a it's a tough one because um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go my homegirl Nafisa Williams. Mm, okay, as a as a local, 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> just gonna turn his phone on. He can't find good pod text nowhere. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I'm gonna say her because man, I seen her since the beginning. Yeah. And she said she was gonna go out to LA and make it happen, and, and she, she did. did. Mm-hmm. And um, I think you know, acting wise, in in my generation, I don't know who's bigger than her. Got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? Like like locally, I'm really trying to scratch my head and and understand who's bigger <clears throat> from Philly mm-hmm. in our generation than Nafisa Williams. Um, I don't know if you can say Kevin Hart is is that generation. Well, I guess you can, because Kev's my age. Kev's what, 42? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can say Kev. So I I, I guess, you you know, after 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 Kev Kev with the super duper success that he has, um, you know, he's out of here. He's he's, he's one of the, the best. As soon as he sold out the done. link, it was over. <laughs> right, right. Seventy seven thousand. Um, and 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 quite honestly, I think I think Kev's probably my number five. Mm. The, the weird fact about Kevin Hart, I, I've worked with him before. I've shot videos with him as the subject. I know almost everybody around him. Mm-hmm. I know his brother Naeem's my guy. Spanks my guy. Yeah. But I don't know Kev. Gotcha. Like it, it, it Wayne's my guy. Like yeah. I, I went to school with Wayne. So it's, it's, it's just crazy. But I, I would say he's my fifth because, again, I think he has a lot of that that drive and determination that I pride myself on having. Mm-hmm. And more so than, like, working with Kev, I, I want to pick his brain. Yeah. I want to have a conversation his about- His work ethic is crazy. All that, this is uh, just focus and just dogged work ethic. Yeah. I would want to have a convo with him. So that's my five. Do you owe me one before we get out no, of here? No, no. That was it? Yeah. That was it. So re- recap yours again. Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson. Eddie. Eddie Murphy. Um, Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Jared Leto. Jared Leto. And, and you uh, said Meryl Streep, or you Mel- had another one in there? I had, who was my? I think you did have another one. I did. I can't remember who it was, though. And mine was Will, Jamie, Angela. Nafisa. Oh, the boy, the boy from Godfather. Oh, Home. yeah, who did John, John Carlos. John Carlos Eposito, Eposito Mosquito. Um, and Kevin Hart was mine. And then my <clears throat> honorable mention, man, is Jim Carrey. Mm. That was Yeah, I knew you was gonna say he, him. He he yeah. I love me some Jim Carrey, man. Yeah. So I would love to work work with him one of these days, man. We gotta get slapped out of here. So it's been another great episode of uh Actors Take, which is supposed to be on the TV, but, but I can't get it right. Something is is wrong with the young. As soon as you start talking that Will Smith, but, that's that's what happened. <laughs> Actors take four, man. It's been a pleasure. I'm gonna get it up here so we could at least clap out. Yeah. Nope, it ain't even gonna work. Ah, um, right. Actors take four, man. Appreciate yeah, y'all yeah. for watching. Thank y'all. We love y'all.